Hello, 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 hello. Today, I'm, I'm gonna teach you how to cook my own version of pork adobo. I already pre-cut my pork belly. So we're gonna need a pork belly, which is I already cut it and place it over here. I marinated the pork belly with the soy sauce. And I already pre-chopped the garlic over here. So now I'm gonna start minching the garlic like a little bit so it will go through the marination of our pork belly. So one globes of garlic is okay. So it really depends on uh, how much portion of pork you're going to cook. All right. So it's already minced. There you go. So I'm gonna have to add this onto the pork. There you go. It's very easy. So we're gonna have to add pepper. Sprinkle pepper on the top of it. And then later on, we're gonna have to mix them together. And then I'm gonna add bay leaves. It's the dry bay leaves. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of salt. Remember that your uh, soy sauce is already salty, so you're just gonna have to easy on the salt. This one is a garlic salt, okay? You don't want your adobo to be really salty. All right, so now we're gonna have to mix them all together. To make sure that all of our ingredients are all mixed up for the marination. We can marinate the pork belly for 30 minutes to an hour or overnight. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna add honey as well. A lot of honey. This time I'm gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce. And then I'm gonna have to mix them again. Anyway, I'm just the only one who will eat this one. And I have to make sure that before I touch any food, I wash my hands thoroughly. Okay. All right, some of you are like maybe wondering why I'm not adding the, the, the vinegar, which is you're gonna need it later on as well. I am going to add vinegar later on. The vinegar, I always added it at the very end, not during the marination. That's my own style. All right, let's wait and marinate this for a little bit. For 30 minutes to an hour, okay? So what I do, I have these little potatoes over here. I added this little potato because I like this uh, in my adobo. So I don't peel them because it's the baby potatoes. What I'm gonna do is I am going to air fry the potatoes and then I'm gonna top them on my adobo, okay? Let's go back later on and wait for a while after 30 minutes. A few moments later. Okay, so 30 minutes is over, so we're gonna have to start cooking our pork adobo at this time. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the pork is ready to cook right now. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this on the top of the stove on the low heat, okay? Alright, we don't have to start cooking our uh, pork adobo at this time. I'm gonna have to put it on the high first. We are now going to simmer our pork adobo into a low heat for another 25 minutes or until the pork is tender. So while we are waiting for chicken adobo to cook, I am going to start to air fry the uh, baby potatoes. You're gonna have to add a little bit of garlic salt and the real garlic. This is a garlic powder. You're gonna have to spray a virgin oil onto your baby potatoes. Mix them all. And then we're gonna have to toss this into our air fryer. I'm going to set my uh, air fryer into 350 and then cook it for 17 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna have to set it for 20 minutes there for 350 and there you go. I'm going to have to lower to simmer. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, add uh, a cup of water so I could boil them, I could simmer them more. At this time, I am going to add the vinegar. Also going to add the whole pepper. Maybe a little bit more. Also our uh, baby potato is almost finished. This one is ready to eat now. See? The fork is going all the way through. So that means it's, it's ready. Okay. You know, put this on, on the side. And then turn it up. So we're gonna have to simmer our pork a little bit more until it's going to be saucy, like thick and almost dry. All right, as you can see, our pork adobo, it looks really, really good. There you go. I don't put any oil on this one. It's a natural oil that's coming out from the pork belly. Okay. So we're going to have to simmer them a little bit more into a low heat. Ooh, look at that. It looks really good. Oops. As you can see, our pork adobo is already cooked and the meat and the meat is so tender now. Look at that. Take a look. The meat is so tender that the pork can go all the way through. So this is the best adobo ever. Take a look. There you this go. is the best time to add our baby potatoes in it. So now I'm gonna add our baby pota potatoes. Okay. 
and then we're gonna have to continue stirring them and voila our pork adobo is ready take a look now we're gonna have to turn up the heat. Here we go ladies and gentlemen, our pork adobo! Here we go! We're gonna have to try our pork adobo. Let's try it if it tastes good, okay? So this is our pork adobo, the finished product. I like it a little bit toasty. Okay, so let's try this. Look at that, oh my God. It look amazing. This adobo is really good over the rice. When I like it dry, And let's put this baby potatoes on the top. Mm. Okay, let's try it. I'm excused for diet today, so I'm gonna eat a pork adobo. Mmm, oh my god. The pork is so tender. Mm. I can taste all of it. The vinegar, the soy sauce. I can taste everything. The garlicky flavor and the bay leaves as well. I can taste them all because, you know, the way I simmer them for a long time until it dried up. So everything is in there, like all the way through. All the way through the meat. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. So, once again, this is just my own version of cooking my adobo. So, everybody has different uh, style of cooking adobo. This is my style. So, I like a dry adobo with a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan. Very good. Mm. The aroma of the vinegar is because I put them at the very end, not during the marinating. It's just enough. Mm. And the sweetness. The meat is so tender that you can just almost just swallow the whole meat without chewing it. That's how tender is the meat. It's very hot though. Mm. Okay, see you guys on my next cooking uh, session. My own version of cooking Filipino foods here in the U.S. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. And have a good day. Bye.